With hot and humid weather moving into West Michigan, Lake Michigan beaches are going to be crowded with folks trying to find some relief. And that has experts in water safety reminding you and your family to be careful because most beaches do not have lifeguards. 13 on your side's Marcus Key has the story. Behind the waves of the lake is the ongoing concern for water safety in Lake Michigan. As most beaches do not have a lifeguard, the concern is more drownings will continue to happen, especially during peak season. Brandy Donnelly knows the pain of losing a loved one. There's an emptiness that is never going to be filled. Um, there, there's a hole in the family. In 2018, her son died after drowning in Lake Michigan. She's been a water safety advocate ever since. My son, Brandon Schmidt, who had just recently turned 20, um, drowned in Lake Michigan on August 15, 2018. Um, since then, I've been advocating uh, for water safety alongside with the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, um, who does a lot of family outreach um, and education in regards to water safety and the importance of it. Donnelly has dedicated her life to raising awareness, working with the nonprofit in training and educating the public about the potential danger of the Great Lakes. Bob Pratt, Director of Education, says although drowning is preventable, it continues to be an issue, especially here in Michigan. Drowning is a huge problem in, in the United States. Um, it's a leading cause of accidental death in children one to four. It's the second leading cause of accidental death in children 15 and under. You know, here in the state of Michigan, you can't go more than six miles without coming across some kind of natural body of water. Since losing her son, Donnelly says most people visit the beaches unaware of the dangers and risks of going into the water. She warns people to be more careful and wearing a life jacket and to learn how to swim. No matter how good of a swimmer you are, there's always dangers in the water. Water is never safe. And a situation that I'm in in regards to losing somebody or even becoming in a water emergency yourself can happen to anyone. And Marcus joins us now. Marcus, what changes are Brandy and the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project working on? Julia, the organization is advocating for water safety, education in schools, and of course, more lifeguards on the beaches and education about life jackets. Julia. Right. Marcus, thank you so much.